Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and explore a little bit of the oil painting brushes and create this um, almost real looking apple in Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. Click on create new, go to digital and let's click on current screen size. So I have a reference image that I'm going to be referring to, by the way. So I want you to go ahead and download it. I'll provide the link in the description box below. Once you have it, click on your images and go to wherever you have saved. I have mine in files. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it from files. And there you go. Now I'm going to use these corners to go ahead and increase the size to as big as I want this apple to be. I want this somewhere around the middle of the artboard and click on done. One thing you want to make sure is go to your settings and make sure you have turned off the artboard preview. So what this makes is this does not cut off the image around the artboard. For example, if I do this, it just cuts it off and you know, like this. So we need this image later on. So we're going to make sure that we don't have this turned on. Okay. And now let's go ahead to levels, decrease the layer opacity and make it a little lighter. So the reason I'm doing this is because I want to sketch on this apple. If you're good at drawing, just go ahead and draw freehand. It doesn't really matter. I would normally draw freehand, but I wanted to make this tutorial easy, even for beginners, especially those of you who don't know how to draw or anybody who is not really interested in drawing or sketching, but actually interested in the painting part of it. Okay, so it's totally up to you. So let's go to pixel brushes. I'm going to go into sketching and in here I will choose pencil. You can select the size as much as you want, as big or small as you want. Um, the color, I would prefer that it be black, but it's totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and sketch on the lines and you don't have to be particularly careful about this. And don't worry, when you do that, it creates a new layer. So you don't really have to do it. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and roughly not roughly, but try to maintain the exact shape of the apple. I have a very shaky hand today, so I'm not getting it quite well, as you can see. But like I told you, that's okay. It's just a rough idea of where the apple line should be. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And obviously, I'll mark this as well. Okay. Once you have that, go back to your image. Make sure you increase the opacity. Now go click on the transform tool here. And we're going to go ahead and bring it to the side like this. Keep it side by side so that you can see it. Click on done. All right. So now we're going to go on top of this app layer. And now we'll start painting. It's super simple. Before you begin painting, I just want to tell you that we'll be using our oil paint brushes. So click oil. And we have a lot of paint brushes here to use. For me, I'll be mostly using the glaze and maybe flat, round, detail, you know, anything that works. Actually, I don't have a particular thing in mind. But the few things that you really need to know about oil paints. One is this setting called as, oh, I have to select oil paint. I'm just going to select uh, glaze. And in here, if you go into settings, you see something called as reload color. So this is like a really important aspect to all when you're painting with oil paints that if this is turned off, I'll show you exactly what happens. Let me just take some bright colors, some yellow, and I'll take some pink or red. Hold on a second. Some, ah, you see what happened? <laughs> I'm gonna select it again. Okay. I'm going to put some red. Now I'll go ahead, doesn't matter what color you have, and I'm going to go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Now when I try to color, this is going to be orange, although we have red here, right? So now I'll go back to the setting and click on reload color. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix these two. And now I'll draw, and you see I have the pink or the reddish color. So what this means is when you have the reload color turned on, every time you lift up your pencil, it acts as if you took your brush out, dipped it in water, cleaned your brush, came back and picked a fresh red on the brush. So that's something that you want because you don't want to color again with this. It's, it'll be hard to mix colors. For example, I'm trying to mix this too, um, like this, and now I feel like it needs more orange. I can just, you know, or more yellow 
I can just bring in more yellow by doing like this. But if I have orange, it doesn't mix well. You know what I mean? I'm just blabbering right here. Okay, so that's the basic of color mixing. Another thing that we're going to do here is the canvas texture. You can turn it off if you don't want. I like having a little bit of texture in my paintings. So I'm going to keep it at canvas. You can experiment like, you know, you can go and use none and see how it looks like. Same with the quality. I would keep it at good. You can keep it at better or best or anything you want. Let's just keep it at better so that, you know, it's better. <laughs> okay, click. I'm going to clear layer. I think we should start painting. You might have noticed that I don't have a color palette for this tutorial. That's because I want you to pick colors from this apple right here. So let's start with it. Main things that we have to notice is this part is really dark here. This is like a reddish and there are some whites here or highlights and over here. So when you're painting, we're going to make sure that we leave this part and this part over here and obviously a little bit here blank. Obviously, it's going to be really hard to control it, but I'll tell you what to do later on because we're going to obviously go back and add some whites. But usually, if you already have a color beneath it, the white is not going to be so easy to put on top because, you know, it's going to mix. Oil paints don't dry so easily in real life. So it'll be harder to have these highlights unless your base is completely dry, right? So this follows the same principle as well. So let's just get started. I'm going to go ahead and add some dark color so I click and hold and obviously I haven't chosen my brush um, let it be glaze let me check the brush size this is too big oh, wait. go ahead and do oil paint round and I'm going to increase this size to about 150 you can click and hold and type in it need not be 150 exactly just some number I don't want it my flow is at 45, I can keep it around 50s. My paint mix is at 50. So what this paint mix means when I'm mixing two colors, it'll mix the colors like 50-50. What I mean is whatever color I have, it that color won't take higher priority over another color. Both colors mix equally. I um, hope I made that sense. You can always adjust these, like put really high and then put really low and see what kind of colors you get. But you don't have to worry about it too much. If you're new and if you're a beginner with this, keep this at 50. That's the safest way to go. Now I have my darkest color. Let's click and hold and it automatically selects it. So you want this side by side. I hope you guys can see it. I'm going to hide the layers so it's much more clearer. And I'm going to go ahead and add a bit here. Make sure to have this edge properly, but even if you miss it, it's okay. We can use an eraser later on, so don't stress about it. Going to go ahead and add some darks here. See, there's a bit of white here, so I'll add a little. If the brush is too big, go ahead and decrease the size. Don't, don't be shy about it. So let's add a bit here as well. Okay, and I think that's good. I think I want my oil paint chunky and um, this is at 170 yeah this is okay I'll keep it at that I'm going to you go next color this one and I'll add a bit here you can see um, these are like really dark colors and I think I'm, I'm missing a lot on this it shouldn't have been so dark here but that's okay I'll use a red and I'm going to add some red here and you see this is mixing so nicely that's beautiful um, one more thing that you need to know if you use the red is lighter than this color right so if you start from here you get lighter and nice mixes if you start on top of the dark color it's just going to make everything dark okay so when you're adding a light color start off from a white background and then you can move in like that and then it'll kind of mix so nicely as you can see i'm going to add some color here as well and you can use these kind of strokes uh, for when you feel like the color has to go in a certain direction because I see that the apple is bending like this so it gives a very nice bendy bendy effect if you know what I mean so I'm gonna put some here as well over here like that and don't worry about the stock we can come back and add the color later now I need a little lighter color there so I'm going to keep it at that and now let's choose this really light red because I think we need and I want you to keep this part blank like don't add any color there for now and let's go ahead and 
finish this off here like this and mixy mixy mix these colors up really nice you can increase the size to about 200 or something because then it you don't see all these um, unwanted brush strokes to be honest and you see it's a bit darker there so you can just click and hold and select one of these darker colors and add it as well I'll show you how to fix these edges because you see it's not nice turn your decrease the size when you have to and uh, turn your canvas or artboard whenever you need to get these crispy edges don't be shy about that it's it's okay all right and I think I am good here and I need some really light color over there a little bit of yellow would be nice as well I guess let's go and pick that up click and hold on that and it'll give you that color and I'm going to add that and just lightly you don't need to fill it up with that color like that and obviously here it's all dark as you can see but you know let's give it almost similar color and you see it's a bit whitish here so we're gonna leave that as well and make sure we don't come to that edge okay Our apple is coming along but not quite ready and I see that there's a bit of darker space here so I'm gonna click and hold and select that and you can actually go to glaze now and my setting is at 465 I'll see if it's it works it's probably it's working but I'm sure you can't see it because it's much lighter so I'm gonna take a darker color and add a bit more here see you can see that right but it's obviously mixing so you want to do like that to get that color on to your artboard okay so like that oops it's a bit too much see and you can color it in like that next i'm going to go ahead and use the white because i want to add that color so click on white and go back into your you can go into oil paint round detail anything that you want i'm going to use the round and i will add this bits here and try to blend in a little bit around the area like that okay um like this i don't want that whites over there and obviously i'm going to go ahead and add a bit here like that see the motion of my it's too big i can see it motion of my brush it's in this direction there you go and in here we don't want to be go for you know here as you can see it's darker there's a bit here but not too much we're gonna come back and fix it obviously and then there's a bit here but this one I think it's not going to work with the round we'll have to go into oil paint detail and this is set at 28 and I hope this helps oops yeah this helps a little bit and obviously you want your strokes to come down so that it matches the rest of the apple you know like that so here as well and if you want you can add a bit over here Won't make much of a difference though all right so that's okay and you can see it's too much white isn't it so we're gonna go back click and hold and select that color there and we will try to close these off I'm going to increase this a little bit more and now I want just you know, as you can see you can also go into your round because that gives a very nice um, effect so let's go ahead go ahead and add a bit and I want you to create that arch kind of thing and then it comes over here and you can see it's so easy to paint over white the lighter color but it's so difficult if you want to paint a light color over a dark color so that's why I told you like maintain those whites so that it's easier to come back and add these details okay I'm gonna go back into a detail brush now because I see that I need some dark outline over there right so we're gonna go ahead and do that 
see oops you can decrease the size here if you want okay you can choose this color I don't like it how it's over there so I'm gonna undo that and I'll add it again but first I want to do this one and then I'm going to take this dark color a little darker and I want to fix this spot here which is a bit white as you can see because there's no white spot in the actual apple so I'm going to go ahead and fix this off and give it so that it looks much better okay Let's just make sure this one looks okay and obviously you need to give the white darker spot here so that the white gets highlighted so i'm going to go ahead and select that that's good and you can now go ahead and use this at this point if you cannot really see the sketch you can always go to layer bring the sketch up and now it's much more visible for you right you can do that as well and i'm just going to do that just so that you guys can see and I'm going to go ahead and add this. Am I on the right layer? No, I'm on the sketch layer, so I'm going to go back because it wasn't mixing and that was a red flag. And you must have noticed that unlike my other illustration or other paintings that I do, I'm doing everything on a single layer here. That's really important because otherwise the oil paints won't mix and you'll have this really raggedy edges, right? Okay, so let's fix this. And as you can see, you can, I have a really dark color and I'm just trying to fix it. And obviously you need to give the upward stroke like that so that it looks a little better. And I'm gonna bring the sketch back down because it's not helping me with the view or the how I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and at, okay, go back there. At any point of time, if you feel like the white or something is bothering you, go to your eraser and make it as low as possible and you can even more not one a little higher and kind of slightly erase it off i'm not asking you to erase too much because then it'll be obvious so i mean like this and then you can kind of blend in and see okay that's better that's really better <laughs> isn't it okay and you can also go ahead and mix these things here take the color from right here so that it blends better like this okay okay let's look at it everything looks good except this part over here i don't like it so i'm going to go ahead and choose this color and mix this up a little bit like that i'm going to go ahead and check it off once okay that looks good that's nice mm, okay i am um, i don't know i'm still wondering if i like it or not okay so let's add the stock and then we'll get a better idea so plus and this one you have to do it on a different layer mainly because you want the stock you don't want it to mix it with others right so i'm going to take this dark brown and then add it mostly to the sides i hope i'm on detail and go ahead and add it like that and i will choose the light brown you scroll and you can see that and click and hold now we'll go back and we'll add that and obviously you can mix mix yeah this is ready as well so i'm going to uncheck the sketch to see what's happening like what areas need more work and what areas are fine so i see that this part over here maybe it needs a little more depth especially over here so you can choose the same color and let's see if this works i'm going to go ahead and add this a brown color so i will choose black because that's the best and add a bit like that and it's still giving me so you can use this motion that is lift 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 okay so let's do that lift be careful lift 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 you can undo anything by two finger tap i forgot to mention that and then you 
can add let's see it looks better okay and like that and it should be okay all right and let's go look at it again mm, my whites are okay but i still i'm not happy with how this part looks right so what is it at 57 i'm going to decrease it okay i think our apple's almost ready i need to put some more whites on it because i think like the white could really help a little here little slightly okay you can add in the white dots freckles if you want i think that's about it let's go ahead and fix the edges go to your eraser and keep it as small as you can and you can slowly erase it off if you want a nice crisp edge like this once you're set with everything now it's time to add some background you can choose to ignore all that and just export this without the screen and make it like a cute little png without a background but you can also add some really nice background so for now i'm going to go ahead and hide the image because i don't want it anymore or oh, wait a minute you can actually go pick colors from this itself to give you more really nice background cohesive one okay so i'll go to oil paint chunky and i'm going to make this a little big maybe 400 something i'm going to do some white and i want to make sure that i have a little bit of whitish background near the darker colors so lighter colors near the darker colors of the apple and this side you can give more dark colors if you want to so i'll hide this because i can't see everything otherwise and i'm going to put in oh not on that go here click on a new layer and yeah let's go ahead and add a bit of things like this i'm going to add some here and there because it it creates a nice little mixture by the way. and then you can choose i don't know maybe this color it's almost like black and you can add in a bit here wait a minute um and i see that it's the end of the artboard so you can go ahead and add that there and mix it in also choose some whites because why not whites are uh, i like whites and you can also go ahead and give black you can press like this and give it like whole black color like that so you can choose any color background that you want for this like i told you you can make it colorful you can make it anything it's up to you to decide what you want you can also make multiple layers you can add a yellow like this go to your this one click on multiply or something and then reduce it you can also add different shades of it you can make it pinkish yeah if you do this you can just experiment with all colors by the way <laughs> and bluish or whatever you want or just let it be like white and black and once you're done you can click on export publish and export export as jpeg png whatever you want and click on export you can also look at your time lapse video by here preview time lapse and then play it off and uh, just watch what you did it'll just show you what all i did by the way so i hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to support this channel you can always buy me a coffee at coffee.com i do have tiny little things in the coffee shop do take a look some of them are free so go ahead and download it and uh yeah if you want me to teach you something anything like that just leave a comment and let me know and if you create something share it on instagram with um, um tag me by the way that's at bring me some color and i would love to check out what you guys create 
I guess that's it. And I'll see you in the next video then. Uh, until next video. Bye-bye.